Spencer. And I'm Emily. Here's what's happening tonight, HMS. The 11th Annual Literary Historical Pumpkin Contest is coming up. See Mrs. Harris for details. Now let's go to Nathan with sports. I'm Nathan with Tuskegee Sports. Last night, the Hillwood football teams took on Medellin. B team prevailed 13 of 6, while C team lost 14 of 6, and A team fell in a 26 24 heartbreaker, relinquishing the lead with 33 seconds remaining. Let's check out some highlights. <laughs> remaining, Mrs. Horton's period two and Coach Lawrence's period four are tied in the race to, the, to be the top selling huddle. Will the Horton huddle hang on, or will the Lawrence huddle pull ahead, or will some third party huddle come out of nowhere to shake up the race? A great young lady from Louisiana sent me this voodoo stick, and I will use it as my pointer tonight. And certainly it's appropriate because, as you and I know, we are in deep voodoo. You have two more days to put your huddle on top. House Council applications are due October 14th. This is a chance to take on a leadership po position in your school. It will look great on your resume and college applications. Pick up one from Coach Pulis today. And that's the news. I'm Emily. And you're not. Thankfully you're not. Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Literacy with Layton. Today I'm being joined by a very, very, very special guest star, Layton. Hi everyone. So, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing great. So, what book have you brought in today? Well, Layton, today I have brought in The Ghost's Grave by Peg Kemet. I I've read that book before. I actually read it very recently. Yeah, it is a very good re book for readers who like suspense and mystery. Good. So, uh, first off, list three adjectives that describe this book. Well, Layton, I think three adjectives that describe this book would be suspenseful, mysterious, and entertaining. W what about this book hooks readers and makes them want to keep reading? I think that suspense in this book and the mystery aspect makes the reader want to keep reading. That makes sense. That's what a good book should be. Anyway, so what type of person would want to read this book? I think if you're a reader who likes action, suspense, and ghosts, then this is the book for you. I totally agree, actually. Um, so what did you learn about yourself or the world by reading this book? Probably that all ghosts aren't death-defying souls that want to kill you. Some are just friendly. So, so after it's all read and done, what would you rate this book? One out of five stars. Uh, I would rate this book four and a half stars. It is a really good book that I think readers of all ages would enjoy. Yeah, well. 
Unfortunately, we are once again out of time. Thank you, Leighton, for joining me, and I'll see you all in another episode of Literacy with Leighton. As you can't, you know, tune in, but it's all right.